Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Buzz with the High Vibrations. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and like to you all. I hope everybody is doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. Okay? This reading is going to be for my, let's see, Virgos. So Virgos, Sun Moon Rising. Calling on the high side of protection, Archangel Michael. Baby, me as I'm telling these messages. Give me clear and accurate messages for the collective. What does Virgo need to know as far as the current energy? Let me get one of these ones. Virgo, someone rising. Take what resonates. The message may or may not resonate with you. Okay, use your own discernment. One card for Virgo, someone rising. We have Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Okay, and then we have Knight, be brave and honest. So somebody is in the energy of fear. Somebody is afraid of something. Okay, Spirit is trying to get you to be brave. Okay, if you're not afraid of this, it's something that you are doing or that you're supposed to be doing and they need you to be brave. They need you to be honest. It's something about truth. There is a truth that needs to be said. It needs to be spoken. A truth. There is somebody that is struggling with speaking a truth. And this truth is going to set you free. Just say it. Let it go. Okay. I'm all right. We have arrows. Surround yourself with protective energy and see from a higher perspective. So you could be scared, but no spirit just wants you to move beyond ancestor patterns. Okay. So maybe some of you all have yeah, ancestors that lied a lot. <laughs> okay. They want you to move beyond this. Okay, speak your truth. Yeah, what do you need to release and speak your world into being? Yeah, but you have to be truth. You have to be honest about something. Okay, so you can step into your power fully. Give me one quarter for Virgo, Sun Moon Rising, Virgo, Sun Moon Rising. Yeah, know your worth. Trust all will be well. So if you're afraid of speaking this truth, okay, they want you to know that all will be well. So don't be afraid. Track down your fears and your desires. What, it, what are you desiring here? Yeah, leave the past behind. It's time to leave the past behind. Okay, I'm here. Put your best foot forward and forgive so you can clear your mind. There's something that you've been uh, procrastinating about. Spirit wants you to go for it because luck is on your side. So if you are afraid of something and scared of something, Spirit wants you just to just jump into it, whatever it is. Just do it. Do it broke. Do it sad. Do it happy. <laughs> do it mad. Just do it. <laughs> okay? Give me one card for my Virgo Sun Moon Rising. What's going on with the current energy? Ex-lover. So somebody could be dealing with an ex-lover. So maybe you dealing with an ex-lover. Okay? Somebody is trying to uh, spark an old flame. Why is ex-lover here? We have Phoenix. So there's an ex lover that wants a new face with you, okay? But I feel like you might have changed your mind. Why is Phoenix? Okay, we have her. This could be somebody that you have kids with, okay? Somebody that you support. Anyone? Then we have loneliness, isolation, but you could be isolating yourself right now. We have gain. Somebody could just be focused on their finances here and being at peace. Yeah, finances at the bottom of the day, not today. So yeah, you could be like um, setting boundaries with someone, an ex-lover, and listening to music, just chilling, okay? Because you feel a little blocked. Yeah, you feel a little blocked. But you're not missing someone. So there is an ex-lover that's missing you that wants to rekindle something. Okay, this person that you supported in the past. But you're like closed off right now. You're like isolating yourself right now trying to uh, find you a peace of mind here. Focus on your finances. Focus on your peace. And you're not thinking about anybody. So somebody's trying to spark an old flame but you're not thinking about this person. You're not really thinking about anyone someone wants to know who you're thinking about yeah compromise why is compromise here drama queen in reverse 
So in the past, you could have dealt with a lot of drama, but somebody, they don't want no drama no more, okay? If somebody's done with the drama, they could want to compromise with you. Yeah, a girl fight. Somebody's competing with an ex. Somebody's competing with an ex, and they're trying to argue with you, and you're realizing something here. What you realizing? You're realizing that somebody is threatened by someone, you're a thief. So somebody like try to steal your piece and you had to cut this person off. So you're not thinking about this person at all. You're like, just leave me alone. Okay, yeah, happiness hater and queen rising. You know somebody's jealous of somebody. They just want to spark a flame. I'm hearing that song, uh, new thing. What's that song? Dang, I can't even think of the name of it. Baby, spark a new flame. You can be my baby, love me like I'm crazy. Tell me if you ready. Baby, try a new thing. <laughs> spark, so you got to spark a new flame with somebody? Okay, you don't want the past. You don't want no one from your past. Yeah, you're trying to heal abandonment issues, okay? Because you know it's time for you to forgive. Yeah, whoever you are, you have to step into your purpose. Or you want to step in your purpose. Or your ancestors are calling you to step into your purpose. But it's something about your truth that needs to be spoken here. Okay, you might have to tell somebody what it is and what it ain't. Because if uh, you don't want no drama, but this person is definitely trying to still compete with someone. You're realizing this. What's going on for my Virgo sun and rising? Yeah, you guys are activating something here. You guys are having a hard time to nurture your creative uh, mind. So it's hard for you to be creative right now. But you're grounded, you're shielded, and you're protecting yourself. Virgo sun and rising, Virgo sun and rising. Yeah, Del, you are putting an end to this girl fight. Why is realization here? Yeah, divine order. You, you, you're being patient about something. So in the past, okay, maybe you did go back to this ex all the time, okay, because you have a family with this person. But right now, you like taking time to heal, okay? Somebody's really healing. Somebody's changing their perception when it comes to a thief. Why a thief? Somebody trying to steal something from you because they seen that you were gaining. Yeah, you don't want this person back. Why a thief? Yeah, somebody's worried because you know, you knew, you know, you knew that they stole something. So this could be past tense because I said knew. So you knew somebody stole something from you and you just cut them off. So they want you back and they want to fight somebody. Yeah, choose the past. I mean, choose the past. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, choose the path of ease and grace. It came out in reverse. Somebody, they do not want you to choose the path of ease and grace, okay? Somebody's hating on your happiness. Happiness hater. Yeah, Divine Film. They hating on this queen rising. So, uh, yeah, pathway to true love. I can't make this up. And then Divine Film again. Wow. So you realizing something. You're having an awakening here. Maybe you met your real... Yeah, love. Oh, open your heart, okay? Set loving boundaries here with people who you don't want to interact with no more. So some of y'all having a hard time uh, speaking your truth to an ex-lover, okay? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. But you are, like, in the midst of losing someone, but you got to take responsibility and accountability for something. Okay? If you don't want this lover, yeah, use your head over your heart. Okay? Because you're in a battlefield right now. Okay? You're in your head. This is why your ancestors want you to... You know, move beyond their patterns. Yeah, see beyond the illusion. Change your perception. If there is something that you do not perceive as true love anymore, that's not it. Then it's not it. It is what it is. Yeah, adversity. Okay, Spirit wants you to know that you're gonna have you're gonna have adversity with whoever you choose to be with. Okay, especially if you choose to be in your purpose, because it's gonna take you a lot of discipline. But if that's the path you want to take, then take it. Yeah, perception. Yeah, somebody's definitely working out of fur with root chakra. But you need to release your fur, okay? Because something is definitely for you. I can't make this up the chosen one. You're going through a fast track ascension right now. You could be focused on your health. You could be just expressing gratitude, being thankful. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Virgo. Yeah, you healing. 
And you have a lot of passion here for someone. Oh. But you need to surrender. You need to release your need to control. This is why you are accepting something to happen in divine order right now. You are not speeding up no type of process. If somebody is trying to hurry up and spark a, a flame with you, an old past, you're like, nah, not today, honey. <laughs> okay, like I'm focused on self-love. Okay, 10, 10 as I say this. Okay, somebody's like focused on real love. Okay, even if you're not, you just focus on being at peace and trying to create. So some of y'all in the energy are trying to create something. You're learning to use your discernment when it comes to your growth, and when it comes to your furs. Yeah, you're trying to increase your frequency here, higher conscious awareness, so something can flow for you. But we have magic and love. Somebody feels like, ooh, we, so you done met somebody and they love is like magic to you? Give me one more. Yeah. You met somebody, you met your, uh, you met somebody. <laughs> I was gonna say you met your twin flame, so you could have be encountering your twin flame 11-11, as I say that, damn, the signs. <laughs> okay, we have AA, honor your agreement, so, cause you have a mission in motion, but you're being called to purge, karmic purge, purge out any type of karmic relationships. Okay, cause somebody is definitely trying to mirror reflections on you right now, they're trying to mirror energy to you right now. They want you to feel nostalgic, they want you to be thinking about them, thinking about the past, and I feel like you're not, okay? You're not thinking about the past. One for my Virgos. Yeah, a bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. So there is a bond that you have with someone that is growing, okay? Yeah, and you're learning to respect your relationship, but you have clarity that this love was being tested. Like I said, you're gonna go through obstacles either way you, either way it goes. But look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness because somebody is your yin yang. Twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. So you are preparing yourself for a union here. Yeah, somebody wants you to feel guilty. Don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness now. Cause like I said, somebody is trying to make you think about them, okay? But you, whatever you choose. Choose what's best for you, okay? What do you feel right? That's right, okay? Yeah, union, because you have a union here. The union of a divine soul counterpart is a marvelous event that begins when you least expect it. So yeah, we have illusions. I'm telling y'all, let go, okay? If somebody's trying to rekindle something with you, let go. Illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine time. And I feel like this is what you are doing. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. Yeah, somebody's trying to make you think, we can fix this or we can rekindle this. Something is not for you anymore. You just don't feel it. You don't feel it anymore. Yeah, deeply. You're recognizing something here when it comes to your feelings. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationship. Somebody already served their purpose here and you are looking for like a new perspective, a higher perspective, okay, a higher purpose. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles and honor, honor your loved ones and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. So the more you honor your true love, you are learning her. Okay, Virgo. Okay. That's for my burger. Mm. Damn. Anyway. Spirit got a lot to say today. I'm telling you what. Don't lose sight of this truth. You came here to evolve and grow. It is necessary to experience the difficult times. That is when you will grow the most. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Be proud of your journey. So yeah, it's like I don't know if you guys are struggling with the truth when it comes to past relationships because I know it's hard to like step outside of that karmic energy and you know it's hard and nobody can tell somebody when to heal when to let somebody go you have to know that on your own you have to figure that out on your own so um yeah your spirit team wants you to know the truth okay once you speak your truth it's like 
it's like you can't keep lying. Even if you don't, even if you're not with somebody, you can't keep lying to yourself, okay? You're hurting yourself. Keep moving forward, even if you are unsure of your next step it, or where it may take you. Trust that you are walking the path you are meant to walk. Remember, we are walking it with you. Trust yourself more. And go back to the heart of who you truly are. See, 1515, as I say this, look at your life as it's eternity, acknowledge any old wounds, and then release them. Use what they taught you as an added strength. Keep moving forward with a renewed sense of confidence. So, yeah, keep moving forward. Because things are about to start shifting for you. Okay. We have 19. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. Okay. You guys are a pioneer. And then we have, you are a self-starter. You have ways of creating opportunities. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times to reach success. And then we have 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted. And your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it to ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I'm kind-hearted. 111 could be significant. You could be seeing 111. 18 could be significant and 19 could be significant. Also, when I'm getting her, okay, you guys are like a uh, leader, okay? You have some type of inspiration about yourself that the collective needs to hear your voice. If you're not speaking your truth, why not? People need to hear your story, okay? You could already have inspired a lot of people, okay? You came across a lot of people that you are an inspiration to, okay? People want to hear your story. People need to hear your story. Okay, let's get one of these. Yeah, yeah, I can't make this up. Release. I stop fighting my fears in the hardships of life. I control my thoughts. I live in the present moment and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for me. Ooh, we uh, manifestation of light. Y'all wanna see it? 17, 17, as I say this, but do y'all see that though? Like, you see how the message is coming out? Like, release. They say out with the old, in with the new. You have to release something in order for something else to come in. Always don't open new doors. But we have manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self. In harmony with light and beauty, I feel free. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms, my intellect shines, and my inner light grows. Something's gonna grow for you, for you the moment you release, okay? And being this energy of self-love, I attend to my needs by listening to my heart. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me. I respect my limits. I answer the request of my body and my soul. This, I learned to love myself. So yeah, if you've been feeling good, I feeling better about yourself, it's because you are doing things to nurture yourself. You are aligning everything. You could be aligning your thoughts by expressing gratitude. You could be exercising that's helping with your body, okay? You could be doing something spiritual that's helping with your spirit, a sin that's helping with your ascension, okay? I'm gonna, that's all I got for you, Virgos. Love and light, namaste, y'all